Call us on your cell phone. Call in Mary Hotline Bling. That can only mean one thing. Feel it, feel it in your phones. It is a Friday and it's time for the Culinary Hotline Bling. Bling, bling, A creamy potato salad is one of the easiest and most loved side dishes. It can be a main dish if you want. When it comes to sunny skies and bright lace, to give us a taste of the summer to come, we've got the incredible and much loved gorgeous human being, Mama Maria Tony, who will be sharing her favorite potato salad recipe. It's golden, okay? And ladies and gentlemen, we have one more surprise in store for you live in the studio this morning. And I've been told to say this, the delicious Ben Ungerman. Ben, we love you, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, we've obviously gotten to know each other a yep. bit, and we really do love you. Um, welcome, girl. Thank welcome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there is a lot of love. And we express our love through our food, yeah? Yes. Um, so, so what did the one um, potato chip say to the other potato chip? Do you want to go for a dip? <laughs> I, 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 don't write, I don't write my own gags, okay? I don't write my own gags. No. Um, the humble potato guys, um, for me, this conscious, it, it's about memories. And I know, um, you know, in Aussie land, um, we, we love our bri our barbecue. We love being outdoors in South Africa. We relish the opportunity to, to be out there. For me, when I think potato salad, I think bri, I think barbecue. What, what, are your, what is your kind of emotional connection to the potato, the humble potato salad? It's, uh, it's actually exactly the same. So uh, obviously in Australia, we have barbecues. We don't call it bri's. I don't think we do it on the level that you guys do. Thanks but, for uh, saying that, man. Thanks for saying it like that. That's cool. But it's always accompanied by a potato salad, and that's probably the memory that sticks closest to me. Yeah. So you've got your own potato salad recipe, which means it's got to be close to yes. your heart. Yes, but it why, is. why is the potato salad so like a hero for you? What, what memories does it conjure? You know, it reminds me of my mother when she teach me how to make a potato salad. Aww. And Clover and uh, Prof. Elaine Flock, she used to tell me that. Aww. And what I like in this, when you do it, you must do it with love. You concentrate, you keep on smiling, <laughs> and you're always thinking of, I'm going to feed someone. So I have to give that thing. You mean that thing? That thing? Yes. You almost made me cry a little bit there. Do you know why I love it? Because you could. I'm like picturing all the brides I've had in here. You're picturing your mom and these oh, amazing oh, yes. people and the amazing things. So, so Ben, we're going to get a masterclass now in, in a potato salad. So Miriam, you're going to take us through your beautiful potato salad recipe. And if you guys have got comments, uh, some inspirational pictures, maybe some tips at home, please let us know on our Facebook page. Inspire us, but take it away, Miriam. So what goes into this gorgeous um, creation? People, I have my potatoes in front of me. I cut my potato salad and then I've got my green pepper, my red pepper. And I also have my garlic, clover garlic, my curry and my parsley. Curry? Yes, and I have the secret, my eggs. And then I want to tell you that what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix my red, and pe red pepper and Green paper. I love the fact you got the pop of color. Yeah, it's yes, good. it's good giving texture. you that rainbow nation, you know. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little bit of my garlic. And is that just raw? Just raw garlic? Hasn't been cooked off or anything? Yeah, okay. it's raw garlic. And I'm going to put a little bit of my curry. And remember, people, when you do this salad, you must always do it with love. With love and a smile. And I love the fact that you never stop you know, smiling. You see Mama Miriam smile most, you know? Because I think of a person who's going to eat my salad. So you're thinking of me right now. Yeah. You're thinking of me because I'm going to eat of you, of I'm going to be eating my salad. <laughs> um, I think Ben and my face is about to start cramping. We've been smiling so much. Um, now, I have to cut my eggs. When you cut your eggs, you need to concentrate people. Yeah. Because we want to do something nice and lekker. And then you need to take it and put it like this. Put a little bit of your black pepper. There is a lot of flavor going to yeah. it. I think yes, very it often like a, nice. a potato salad can be seen as kind of like a sounding board for other flavors. And but a this pinch is of steel salt. Mm. Of course, your mayonnaise. Mm, I mean, we're going larger in charge with the cream mayonnaise. Yeah, we, we're not holding back. Just look at this. When you stir your, your salad, this is what you have to do. Stay it with love. Think of a person who's going to eat your salad. Your mom, your dad, your loved one. <laughs> why did you look? Why did you suddenly start blushing there as soon as you said that? So when you do, just tell yourself you are going to eat my food. You are going to taste it that it's from mama. And it's all about mamas. Mamas, they always have that motherhood. 
when you feed your people you need to make sure that you have that motherhood and that thing that people have to feel warm feel warm and, and a little bit off feel your mind the, the absolute love so so Miriam, yes. while you put the finishing touches there and i, I can feel the the love radiating uh, from the mm. kitchen now You've got me inspired to think about how we can kind of pimp our potato salad. How would you elevate a potato salad? How would you take it to a higher level? Um, for me, like the potato is very, very humble. So like when you put in your mayonnaise, also hitting it with like a, like a touch of lemon, maybe something like watercress for a bit of bitterness and freshness. Um, yeah, it just for me, it takes it to that next level. Just to elevate it. And I mean, I, I really am that guy who will eat the whole potato salad. So I, I have to, uh, in my context of my own family, eat last. Yeah. Wait for everyone else to dish up, and then I will take the rest. And the keyword here is salad to double three seven two eight. If you'd like us to send you this ingredients list for a truly incredible, uh, I'm going to call it the love salad. It's made with love. Oh, please do that. <laughs> and I believe you're going to eat my salad. This is Mama Miriam's salad made with love. It's so nice and lekker. You need to eat it and make sure that this is from a motherhood. Uh, okay, um, now I want you to picture Ben and myself right now because that's who's going to eat it. We're going to have a taste. I haven't had carbs in a while, okay. <laughs> so I'm breaking this um, just because it looks so amazing. Mama, you are amazing. Go for it, dude. Go for it. I'm going to give you one. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Wow. And the, um, the mayonnaise mm. with the curry. I was going to say, the curry takes it to a whole mm. different place. Yeah, oh, well done. Oh, Mama Miriam, you are gorgeous. You're amazing. And Thank I think you. we've hit the nail on the head here. It's about cooking with love. If you love it, that love will be imparted into the food. We're going to continue to love our food. We're going Dutch after the break with Ben, which doesn't mean I'm going to pay for half, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you expecting you to arrange everything, OK? Um, beautiful. So I'm going to have some more. Mm. Yeah, you can finish it up, guys. Mm. Finish it. Eat it. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can only mean one thing. Feel that beat, let it fill your body, let it fill your bones. It's time for the culinary hotline bling. Sing, sing, sing. We are now going to find out exactly how Mr. Ben Ungerman's favorite potato salad um, all comes together. And I'm looking at quite a scientific layout here. It's looking awesome. This is something that um, myself and Miriam certainly don't want to miss, but you guys at home, I think, want to take in a rare opportunity to see an incredible chef do some pretty cool things right now. You've got a kind of a hack vibe going on, but you seem like you're about to do a mad science experiment, which yeah. makes me even more excited. Uh, so, Ben, thanks again for, for coming through, dude. Absolutely loving connecting with you on the show. What are you making, first of all? What's the broader potato salad vibe for you? Okay. So uh, I'm actually making my version of a Dutch potato salad. So in Holland, it's called a Huzadenslaad. And basically what they do is they um, mash the potato Ooh. and then they throw through like uh, uh, pickled vegetables like cucumbers and, and beetroot and things like that. And it brings like a real tartness to the dish. It's, it's super delicious. Yeah, yeah. that's like wow. restaurant quality food <laughs> in wow. our kitchen, which we absolutely love, dude. Um, it's sounding very, very, very wow. excited. Miriam, are you, are you keen? Are you ready? Hey, I'm ready and um, I want to taste this. Okay, cool. Can cool. you say it again, the name? Uzadenslaad. Uzadenslaad. So it's a sly. It's like a sly in on African sly. Yeah. That is yeah. sly in African um, yes, So we're we connecting, yeah. we're connecting. Okay, so hey, Miriam, do you give you a job? Yes, please cool? do so. So could you put some butter just in the pan for me? And we've just got some potatoes here that we've parboiled. And I just want you to caramelise uh, each side if you can. And then, Graham, you and I, yeah. we're going to make an instant mayonnaise. Instantly? Yes. Awesome. Let's do it. Cool. So the first thing you need to do is take a whole egg and just place it in the bottom of your canister. Um, from there, we're going to take some mustard. Mm. Now, the cool thing about this recipe is it's 100% natural. So a lot of those mayonnaises that you buy in the supermarkets, they're just full of preservatives and nasty things. And it's also nice to be able to like have the layers of the flavor, yeah. flavor profile coming yeah. up from every element. Yeah. Um, and you know exactly what's gone in and you know exactly how it's going to work out. True. So we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice as well, just for a bit of tartness. Now, this is the part that's super important. You must add 330 mils of oil. Okay, and, and he was being quite pedantic about this point. <laughs> 330 mils. If you use more or less, this will not work. Okay. Okay. Then it's not going to be instant. It's going to be instantly exactly. and instant. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> blender goes over the egg. That's really important. Okay. Do you want to place the oil in for me? Okay. Uh, now you've made me all nervous. Um, okay. And just all of it? All of it. Come on, oil. So, it's not like um, with a traditional mayonnaise where you would gradually add the oil. We're literally going to put it all in together. 
Okay, so I know we're fighting, yeah, I'm fighting for space, but yeah. I want to make sure that every one of those 330 mils gets in there. Oh, Miriam, how's it going there? Hey, you're getting a nice brown. So you can take them off the heat if you want. They look amazing. I feel like there might be like one more left in there. Okay, well, <laughs> you're forgiven. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to blend over the egg. Oh, okay, so you already have created quite a cool little... Dun, 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 dun. And this, it is starting to look like a bit of a science experiment. It looks awesome. And then from there, you'll see it's starting to emulsify down the bottom. Yeah. And then from here, you just slowly bring it up. Dun, dun. It's, it's, it's instant and it's dramatic as well, which is pretty cool, eh? Yes, yes, okay. definitely, yeah. I don't know chicken eggs. That's what I know. <laughs> so there you have Do your... It. You weren't nervous, you weren't nervous oh, at all. No, 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 no. Um, so you can store that uh, in the fridge. Uh, you just need to make sure that when it's stored in the fridge, that cling film is uh, literally in contact with the entire mayonnaise okay. and it will hold for about two weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't so going to last is, two weeks, buddy. This, well, this, uh, no, this is literally uh, something that you guys should be doing at home. It's much better for you. It's not full of preserved. Yeah, like man, that's delicious. So the yeah. key word here, as we progress, because we've still got a lot to get through here, There's a bit to do. is the key word, two double three seven to eight and we'll send you um, this incredibly inspired Ben's take on a Dutch potato salad. Awesome. Okay. It's time to rock up. It. Let's do All it, right. man. Let's right. do it. So what we're going to do is just lubricate the dish with the mayonnaise. Wow, Ben. Hey. It's amazing. And then we'll just take some of these uh, potatoes that Miriam has cooked. Do you still take a moment, bro? Because uh, I know like, I kind of gush whenever I see you over the journey that you've been on because it's just so amazing to me. When, yeah. you, when you start, even when you say things, now it's time to play it up, does that still like, <laughs> blow your mind that it's, this is who you are? This is how far you've come? Honestly, my life has completely changed since the show, so uh, mm. I'm very, very blessed uh, to have been on uh, a show like that because to be in the chefing world, like you're looking at uh, four years, so mine was a little bit fast-tracked in terms of being on the show for around about a year, so, yeah. Yeah, but they, they pack a lot in. They do, that, they do. Time. It's very, yeah, it's quite a process. Um, so what we've got here is some pickled cucumbers. Huh. Um, now what you do, if you cut them really paper thin, yeah. like so, okay. you can literally just roll them up. Wow. Just into little cylinders. Ben? And it just looks a, a lot more attractive on a dish. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's I like can a, see now I'm working with a professional chef. <laughs> you know. Wow. Um, wow. So we've got some uh, beetroot here that we've just cut into brunoise. Mm -hmm. um, seasoned with a little bit of olive oil, sugar and salt. Brunoise being like tiny little cubes. Tiny little cubes. It's just a fancy <laughs> Thanks, way of yeah, saying, so saying tiny little cubes. That you say that's awesome sound exactly. a bit silly because I... I need to dumb it down, but um, what I like about this is it's, it's quite elevated, mm. yeah. but it's also, it's accessible. It's not like it's impossible to put together. So there's a no. bit to do, but like literally these are all very much humble ingredients. Yeah. yeah. So another cool little trick is with your carrots, if you put like a little incision, mm -hmm. like so. Make it like a little Pac-Man. You can, you can literally wrap it up so it becomes like a little flower. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh man. Shoo. Ben? So. <laughs> You're shaking me now. He's, uh, he's, uh, You're shaking me. There's food hacks all over the place at the moment. Okay. Dude, this is awesome, bro. Yeah, you know, I joke about things being insta-worthy, but it's like, uh, because you know, if you're a foodie these days, you've got to be taking a, poster, a, a mm. picture and putting it on the gram. Oh, and he's got the tweezers. No, but honestly, like, I need to do this. I actually get the shakes when I, when I work, so I, that's the reason why I need uh, tweezers. I can see you're shaking. Yeah. Yeah. He's feeling the love. He's feeling the love. Because Mama is standing Mama next to me. <laughs> All right. So what we've got here is some quail eggs. Now I've cooked these for about uh, two, two and a half minutes. Okay. Oh. And what that'll do, and then I've shocked them in cold water straight afterwards. So what'll happen is the yolk will still be uh, very runny on the inside, and that's for me the best way to have it. Uh, undoubtedly. So we'll just make a quick mm -hmm. incision. And obviously, because the, the, the eggs retain a lot of heat, so you, you kind of shock them in that cold water to, yeah. to stop that process. Exactly. 
How beautiful are those little eggs, man? Okay. Oh, Even in their, their you know, pre yes. phase, oh. <laughs> they look gorgeous. Eh? So now we're just going to lubricate the dish with a little bit more mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And really? Graham, there was some. Could you grab the microgreens for me? I can, and look at our gorgeous little micro herb garden going on here. Oh, how have these grown? Hey, look at that. Mm. Beautiful, green, amazing. And we'll just pick some of these. Now, one thing that I was always taught when I did uh, staging around the world in restaurants is um, it's really important for a dish to look intricate to add height. So wherever you can, mm -hmm. use uh, things like your mayonnaise, mousses and stuff like that to actually prop um, ah, ingredients. It's like construction as much yeah, as you know, it is. Really, yeah, it's like, it's like a process. Sure. So. Um, the planning that must have to go into these, that must be, is that... There's a bit, there's a bit. Is that the fun part? I mean, uh, you, you clearly really have a natural it. gift, yeah. but, but you've got to differentiate yourself through these kind of nuances of how you put something together. Yeah. For such a big guy, that's pretty dainty, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, this is one It's pretty, pretty, pretty delicate, man. And then just in um, true form with a potato salad, we're just going to uh, add a little bit of the dill. dill. <sighs> Looks so yeah, I feel like... And actually, I can't wait to taste it. The mayonnaise that we made, um, actually, uh, we incorporated a little bit of dill in Into it as that. well. Okay. Yeah, just to reinforce that flavour. Wow. How important is it for you to have that? You, you've deconstructed something, yeah, but yeah. there's still this kind of a natural flow and a continuity with the ingredients. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you to have that flow, the complement between flavours? Because there's a lot of gimmicks out there. There's yep, a lot yep. of guys trying to create something that looks yep. good, but maybe yeah. doesn't, doesn't pack the, the flavour. Is flavour king? Flavour is always king. So I can tell you, like, when you look at something, you're going to eat with your eyes first and you're going to make your mind up about the dish. But it's not until you take that first bite that it really uh, encapsulates what the dish is all about. No, I'm shaking because I don't want the thing to, to, to build your construction. Wow. Buddy, that's gorgeous, cheers, man. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Thank you. So oh, the awesome. key word here is dish. If you want to feel like a master in your kitchen, and create Ben's um, retake on a beautiful Dutch potato salad. I've done it. I've knocked over one of your towers, your, your, your cucumber um, towers. But you think, I feel like we're like, very privileged to have had a, yes. a, a very quick Ooh. masterclass. Um, I love potato salad. You've given us something truly remarkable, Miriam. Thank that is you. delicious. Thank we will you. be going back for more. Um, yes. I can already feel the crew are like getting closer and closer. Yes. Ben. Um, this has been, been quite a moment for me, dude. I think cool. being able Thank to you. see you cook firsthand has been really, really special Appreciate for me. And I know a lot of viewers out there would have been feeling exactly the same thing. Um, so please express yourself in your own kitchen. Try this at home. Do something magical. But most importantly, if you're going to be making your own mayonnaise at wow. home, film the process on a time lapse or something sure. and send it to us and 330 mils of oil and no That's more it. and Must no be. less. Oh, guys, thank you so much. What okay. an absolute yeah. High five. privilege. Next, something from it's my feel-good breakfast show. <laughs> Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling. That can only mean Welcome one thing. back. Thank you so much for tuning in for what has been a truly inspirational show on all fronts in the kitchen, most notably. It's the Culinary Hotline Bling. Ting, ting, ting. With an Australian twist. Um, so good to have been in studio. We've learned a huge amount. We are tackling the humble potato has been turned into a superstar today. Um, so first of all, thank you so much for our little masterclass. Now we're going to set you the task of creating delicious spuds within like a minute and a half because I'm, right. I'm already being too long-winded here. We're going to get from this to that. All right. Um, so put Let's it get together, started. my man. Put it together. So we've got some match here with a little bit of butter, which will make it mm. super creamy, really indulgent. And I like the fact that what we've done, we've, we've cooked our potatoes, but we've hollowed it out to yes. create the mash. We've yes. got our kind of the meat of the, and the nothing, potato there. Nothing's been wasted, which yeah, is also important. Completely. Um, and yeah, um, you know, we, we love the fact that Clover obviously offers an opportunity to be educated in the strength of cheeses. I'm a big cheese fan. Um, and you can get your cheese strengths right on each, whether you're going for something like a more mature, extra mature cheddar, or just a mild cheddar, or a gouda, even more mild on that scale. So you, you, you're scooping. So I'm the, putting the mixture the, back in. Yeah, the mash is going back in. Mm. Okay. So I think I'll make two. One for you, one for me. Thank you. Don't and worry, crew. Okay, yes, Liam, we'll make a few more in between. We will do it. Um, Perfect. And now we just got to add our toppings. So this is a, um, a duck bacon, mm. I've been told. Yeah, man, and, and we've got so many healthy, great variants there. I mean, if you, if you even wanted to, to kind of go even quicker, you could just throw everything all together, smash it. Yep. Bash it, yep. um, throw the cheese, and... So now top it mm. with the beautiful cheese. Oh, lovely. And We're just going to keep the um, protein really nice and soft to protect it from drying out. Ah. There we are. 
Um, and I like the fact that we've gone for two variations here. We've gone for our uh, strong mature cheddar and mm -hmm. a gouda. So a strength two and a strength four. Um, very cool. Um, and we've got some onions that we can yeah. throw into the mixer Sorry. as well. Right um, the then just pop them back into um, the oven, brown the, the potato skins, which are equally delicious. And you've got yourself a perfect accompaniment um, or the main star of any meal. Dude, um, I think we have done, achieved what we set out to do. In under two minutes, we have created beautiful, delicious, cheesy spuds. Um, pop these in the oven. Just watch them. Obviously, the potatoes have already been cooked. Yep. So um, um, just let it uh, brown. Let's take you through a quick blow-by-blow blow of how we arrived at our cheesy spuds. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Dinner doesn't have to be complicated to be delicious. Give the humble potato a makeover with these devilishly delicious Clover cheesy baked spuds. Start by wrapping four large potatoes in foil. Then bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. Halve the slightly cooled potatoes and scoop the potato out into a bowl, reserving the skins for later. Next, add a quarter cup of clover butter and a quarter cup of clover sour cream and mash the potatoes until smooth. Add six rashes of crispy chicken bacon, chopped, a handful of freshly chopped chives, two thinly sliced spring onions, then season to taste before mixing to combine. Spoon the creamy mashed potato back into the skins and top them with clover mature cheddar cheese. Bake at around 200 degrees Celsius until the cheese has melted and skins are slightly crispy. Garnish with extra chopped chives and spring onion and serve. This is dinner done in a jiffy. Your evening meal couldn't be simpler or tastier. So why not get a little cheesy tonight? Made with love by Clover. I don't know if I could get any cheesier, uh, to be honest, but I absolutely love our cheesy spuds. I love the fact that we've had an opportunity to do some cool things on the show, get a little bit of a, a mini, mini masterclass. If you want to find out where you can get a full-length masterclass from this incredible human being, you can go onto Quicker, just do a search for Ben Ungerman. Um, you'll get a list of amazing events where you can get a first-hand um, opportunity to, to learn from. Do the master, a master in the making. Oh, absolutely cool. love it, man. Um, this has been really cool. Thank you so much to everyone else who weighed in today online and a very big thank you to Mama Miriam for bringing the love. I'm still feeding the love in our kitchen. <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Clover.